Welcome back to part 3 or part 12, depending on how you view all these things, of uh, Mega Man 8. We are about to uh, tackle. We're going to have 12 parts. I don't know. Oh, okay. It depends how I feel about it. I, <laughs> I can't edit do things. math. <laughs> um, we are here to tackle the last of the first set of Robot Masters. Who uh, lives in uh, Alaska. Hooray! Yay! I will say, I like Frostman's design. I like Alaska. <laughs> He's got a, like, he, he kind of fits the mold of the kind of normal heavy characters, like your, your hard man, your guts man, stone man, stone man. but, um, he, he has more of an original body. Yeah. Because, I, I, like, a lot, a lot of the, like, heavies, like, uh, pump man or hard man, they kind of, they kind of almost share the mm, same body type. I wouldn't consider pump man the heavy of Mega Man 10. No, but, I mean, in, in, Probably his, be Commando in, man. in his design, he has, like, that kind of... Standard um, heavy design type of thing. Yeah. But either way, speaking of a uh, standard, uh, Frostman is of course your standard ice level. Yeah. It's all with the uh, complete with uh, frost physics. <laughs> frost physics. That's yeah. You got to go with the alliteration. F -f frost physics. Fantastic Four frost physics. <laughs> so let's go back. Peter to Parker frost physics. <laughs> Peter Parker Spider-Man. So let's go back to um, the trusted Udon Robot Blaster uh, field manual. And what does it say about our dear friend Frostman, DJ? Okay, so Frostman is number DWN-062. Dash, dash jump jump slide slide. Dash jump jump slide slide. Weapon is the jump jump slide slide beam. <laughs> I mean, That'd be an amazing weapon. I mean, it's the ice wave. <laughs> His weakness is the flash bomb. <gasps> now you know it. Um... Yeah, they got this nice little picture of Dr. Wily and a nice 8-bit sprite of uh, Frostman, which I believe is from a fan-made game. And I think they... it, I think in that book it was a mistake because none of the other Mega Man 8 Robot Masters have, an, have the 8-bit sprite. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that was just a... I, I keep meaning to tweet Ash Paulson though. I was asking him about that. Yeah. Uh, so it's so his uh, fr catchphrase is, Frostman, destroy Damn. you! <laughs> oh, you die. <laughs> Great, now we gotta tape this all over again. <laughs> tape this all over. Yeah, we're Re using VHS. Yeah, rewind the VCR. <laughs> <laughs> when modifying Clown Man, Dr. Wily found himself saddled with a surplus of spare parts. I love Jesus it. Christ. I love the I love how, like, how many spare parts. Like, Clown <laughs> Man is like the smallest robot master also, in Mega Man 8. Yeah, exactly. And Wily is a genius. Like, he, he, he must learn, like, the 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 uh the law of like conservation of mass. What are this? He was just like, oh, this is going to make a little robot. What are this is like the seventh time he's made robots. You think he'd know how much he material he need Jesus. for the size he wants? With these, he constructed the behemoth Frostman, whose large size unfortunately leads to poor oil circulation. That's a nice touch. <laughs> Frostman's main attack is the ice wave, in which he creates a wave of ice sprites, or spires, spires, yeah. Spires. That, <laughs> they know they're in a video game. <laughs> Frostman breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> the Deadpool of Mega Man. The <laughs> Frostman truly is the Deadpool of Mega Man. Die, Jimmy Chonga. <laughs> X gonna give it to you. <laughs> Frostman's main attack is the ice wave with the, 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 uh... He also tends to utilize his brute strength by punching blocks of ice at his opponents or just by encasing his fists in a large spiked clump of ice before punching his foes directly. He knows how to use his words, doesn't he? Frostman's intelligence, or at least his ability to articulate, appears to be limited. Well, that's not very nice. As stereotypically benefits, or befits a giant of his stature. Benefits. <laughs> <laughs> I am aware of how big I am. I'm sad now. <laughs> Even though he, he, his immensely heavy form can prove a hindrance, he remains proud of his size and strength. Strangely, although he dislikes frostbite, he enjoys rock candy. So much, in fact, that he dreams of turning rock into his own personal snow cone and introducing him to his own form of frostbite. <laughs> Cannibalism is wrong. Not if they're robots. No, Anybody who's okay. a Jesus, check your privilege, <laughs> Garth. Okay, T Bay. <laughs> you did not like my nickname for you earlier. You spelt it wrong. That's also my wife's nickname for me, you freak. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> moving on. Yeah, moving on. Never call me t bag <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, everyone at Testo for call him t bag No. <laughs> Jesus, I'm gonna forget the day this part, like, what we said when this part comes out. All of a sudden I'm gonna get, like, five tweets that are like, T-Bay! And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's your, uh, how to get that, that, uh, thingamabob. Oh, the thingamabob! I forgot yeah. about that. Nice. We all did. You know, I don't, I don't, I, you know, I don't mind Frostmatch today. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's alright. I think it... That was I think it might be... It's my second favorite. Of uh, the first, the first tier. Yeah, you know, I would. There is, a, in terms of the Robot Master level, there's not, there's not a level I flat out hate, but I would say no Clown Man. You hate Clown I Man? I despise Clown Man stage. There is, there is another bolt below, but you need to use the Astral Crusher to yeah. break this this uh, ice here. I like that. We've talked about. At least I believe we've talked about that on a part before. Yes. Where we like that. Um, the uh, weapons are used for other things. I, I think you know. Um, this this may be the the game where they put the most thought into, into using yeah. the uh, Robot Master weapons in terms of actual level design and like how to you know get um, extra secrets and multiple pathways and stuff. Which I you know what it, I'm surprised it took them this many games to do that. Yeah, me too. You know? I'm and. I, I mean, you know, aside from Mega Man and Base, which used this style. I haven't. Well, used the. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't played that. Everyone says it's. Well, especially the, uh, the Game Boy Advance version is like almost unplayable because of the screen crunch. Yeah, I just. I don't know why we didn't get more Mega Man games in this style. Yeah, I get it's it's the um. The, the kind of retro revival thing, you know. Like, I, I get why they did it. They went back to the, the uh, like uh, eight bit sprites. Eight sprites, but I did this design. This is why I, you know, with uh, this, this is gonna jump forward the original recordings and kind of date this a bit. But since Sonic Mania, I'd love like a like a revival Mega Man like this. Yeah, you know, kind of like uh, it's it's like updated. I mean, I, I granted this is 32 bit, but um, kind of like that updated at least 16 bit. Like yeah, you know, because again, I love I love you know 8, 8 bit Mega Man. I love him, but. Oh, you don't really care for 16-bit Mega Man. I am not a fan of Mega Man Seven. Seven. No. I don't. Yeah. You know, it's it's not a it's not a terrible game. It's just. It's not, and I I, I have the same a, I have I, the same problem that you do with it, where I don't like the the sprite size. It's it's Mega Man is too big. He's far too big. It doesn't it doesn't hinder you from playing the game. It's no. just visually it feels weird. It stands out from all the other ones. Yes. Frost Man. Um, he he's actually a really fun. Um, fights if you bust him, but I, which I'm not going to. He is damn near pathetic if you have uh, the Flash Bomber. Yeah. And of course, he, with his uh, stock Schwarzenegger voice. Uh, it's just kind of, it's just kind of dumb guy. He doesn't have an accent or anything. I, I would say it's kind of like dumb guy mixed with slight, slight Schwarzenegger. No. Wow. Wow. I, I, I think it started in seven, but again, we know. I love the fact that they. Uh, they have like actual weakness um, a animation. Yeah, I think that might be the first time I've ever seen the sprite actually do the ice wave. Not gonna lie, <laughs> because you're right. It takes so few hits with the flash bomb to actually kill this guy. He's gonna lose kind of lane. <laughs> In that regard, die. I'm pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now we're coming up to the cutscene. With possibly our fav the uh, greatest mistranslation or fuck up line. Oh my god! In yes. video game history, but again, I love this. Ice wave, frost ward, <laughs> ice slave. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. We're gonna turn up. We're gonna quiet down there just so we can hear the amazing uh, mistranslation. Oh. I love anime, anime Mega Man. The uh, incredibly low bitrate encoded cutscenes. I don't care, man. This is this was like a great, like a great animation style for anime. But I've never seen this type on Earth. I know. If. Oh, if. Oh, if. 
recover all the energy immediately. <laughs> <laughs> we must recover all the energy immediately, Mega Man. What, Mega Man? I can't remember if I said this in a previous part, but had the um, Archie comics uh, comics stayed until Mega Man 8, mm -hmm. Ian Flynn had said he was going to give Dr. Wa uh, Dr. Light the code mm -hmm. so he could keep in all, those, like, one Mega Man and yeah. all that stuff. Mwah. Um... We also forgot to talk the first time we recorded this. We forgot to talk about um, that cutscene. Actually, inspired me to uh, give you a certain birthday present. <laughs> it did um, for my birthday in 2015. TJ bestowed upon me Doctor Light, dressed as a rabbi, drawn by who? Who was that one drawn uh, by? I can't remember off the top of my head. It was someone at, G at Gem City, right? No, it was somebody at uh, Gen Con. Gen Con, okay. That's it, yeah. And then you also got me J Jewish Rock. Yeah, Jewish drawn Rock. Drawn by the amazing Jennifer Hernandez. Basically, Rock in a civilian co like clothes with a with um the uh what the, the skull cap? I forget what that's. The uh, yarmulke. The yarmulke mm -hmm. and the uh the. the like the scarf? Yeah, uh, whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I apologize. You sound incredibly ignorant. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know too much about. Uh, I I'm just um personally I'm just shocked that it went over as well as it did because when I was asking her I was like, hey, this is gonna sound this weird. is gonna sound really dumb. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking up that guy right now. Sam Logan. Uh, he, uh, great, he, has a, he has a he uh, has a web comic called Sam and Fuzzy. Check 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 him out. He does really good. Uh, he has really good art. And you know, again, this is something that was kind of atypical for Mega Man game. Have like a well, for, Mega Man Seven introduced the like intro stage, which Mega Man Eight did again. Mm -hmm. But I don't I don't think Mega Man Seven had a mid game level like this one. I think you're right. I don't think it might. I may be wrong. And I haven't I haven't played Seven. Seven is a game I probably go back to the least. Yeah, I would agree with that. The, the music's pretty good in 7. I love this. Oh, yeah. Do you know what my problem with, with 7 is? It's it's way too basic. I, I know, pun the pun, because he was introducing the game, but it, the music track <laughs> is, way, is way too bass heavy. I You know, for my, for, for my money. It's, for my money. It's a game with too much bass. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Gavin. <laughs> and I approve this bum, message. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you say is just followed by the Seinfeld. <laughs> Seinfeld of Help, I've been hit by a cop. <laughs> Call an ambulance. Where's the punchline? <laughs> uh, you know, I missed it. Um, in the place where I went up to, where I got the um, the two bolts in the Saturn version, you can actually refight Cutman. Oh yeah. Where do you fight refight uh Woodman? I want to say that Search Man stage. It's I so, think you're right, yeah. I think it's... Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I think that was kind of cool. Yeah, because they both take place in the woods. Yeah. But, um, you know, it was, I, I forget why the Saturn version had those, but the PlayStation version didn't. In a version, a hack. <laughs> Duh, we'll put Woodman in the woods. <laughs> Maybe put him we'll... sort of somewhere where nobody will suspect it. That's right, I said it. <laughs> He wanted too much kickstart money to put him in the uh, <laughs> put him in the PlayStation version. We gotta got put him in an authentic wood environment. So we're gonna fight thirty million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to fight Duo. What does the book say about Duo? Okay, so Duo, uh, his number is none. <laughs> his weapon is various, and his weakness is the ice wave. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll have to try that. Uh, likened to an intergalactic police officer. <laughs> All right, Narc. <laughs> Duo is a robot from space. <laughs> Duo is a robot from space who came to Earth in pursuit of what he called evil energy. That's not true. He fell to Earth. After battling a carrier of such energy in space, both of them had taken heavy damage and crashed to Earth. See, there we go. Where he and his foe were found by Dr. Light and Doc and Wily, respectively. Wily doesn't get the doctor title? Okay. Light made what, what repairs he could to the ex ex extraterrestrial robot. So, did you die? Oh. I will do soon. I will do soon. There you go. Get I, don't ready. Think, I don't think Ice Wave is ready. He's... Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. No, it, it, that's what it says in the book. Okay. You think Ash Paulson would lie to us? <laughs> I don't know. He put that 8 bit Sprite Frost, man. <laughs> Light made what repairs he could to the extraterrestrial robot 
who awoke to the horrific realization that the evil energy had survived as well. He took off in pursuit of the dangerous force and soon allied himself with Mega Man to stop Dr. Wily from using it to conquer the world. After stopping Wily, Duo returned to space. Uh, spoilers. Jesus. I am the keeper of peace and justice. That's his line. His little quote. That's kind of boring. Despite being a robot, Duo seems capable of converting his entire his entire body into a form of blue energy that can counteract the evil energy. That seems kind of racist. <laughs> Despite being a robot, <laughs> he does some pretty cool shit. <laughs> he can use his power not only to fight his foes, but to heal allies infected by the evil purple force as well. When he does use it to... <laughs> That sounds like old-timey racism. <laughs> the purple force! <laughs> but Duo feels a strong sense of justice within Mega Man <laughs> as he was beating the fuck out of him. <laughs> what else does it say before when I he does on? use it to fight, uh, he often charges it into his large fist for a powered punch, though he can also deploy ranged buster-like attacks with it as well. <gasps> The, I Who's will, that? I won't lie. The Proto Man like whistle mm -hmm. is possibly one of my favorite pieces of video game music, or just video game. My favorite melodies of all time. Yeah, it's just. I wish every time I could, I walked into a room. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. You're not worthy of that. <laughs> That's a very good point. I'm not. <laughs> you, you don't. You don't wear a uh, yellow scarf everywhere. I should do. And a shield. <laughs> I wear my sunglasses at night though. So I can. So I can. <laughs> Uh, Duo seems more comfortable fighting at close range, however, augmenting his giant fist with other direct contact attacks, such as a spiked shoulder ram and a move where he bounce, bounce around, bounces around like a meteor-like ball of aforementioned blue energy. Duo's greatest strength is his dedication to his never-ending pursuit of Fuck justice, this. but this often leaves him too busy to do much else. The rumor has it he likes a good race. His goal... All right. Racist. <laughs> His goal is universal peace, and he hopes to dispose of every villain who stands in the way of that dream. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> I, I don't think um, Duo was used in many other games. I think, he, honestly, he was in the... He's in the fighting games. Yeah, the, the arcade power, fighting power games. Power battles. Power fighters. They're kind of fun. They're kind of fun. They're all right. I think they've included on the uh, Mega Man Classic PS2 collection. As, like, extra and the games. game... The, yeah, I think they, they're included on all versions of that game. Oh, was that at least another? I thought it was just PS2 that was on. No, I have it. I have it for GameCube. Oh, okay. He's also included. Um, he, he makes a kind of a cameo appearance in uh, Worlds Collide. Oh yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. Hello. Thanks, bro, man. Okay, bye. <laughs> He's bad with accents. Oh, do we get? Oh God. Yes, the... more anime cutscenes. This is the worst cutscene in video game history. Uh, I one highly doubt that. It's one of them. Okay. This is. As some of the the this kind of disturbed me as a kid. Yeah, I, I had a thing like I didn't like characters screaming a lot used to disturb me. Like the Dexter's Lab movie, yeah. when like young adult Dex is getting whipped. Uh -huh. Those screams used to freak me out as a kid. Yeah, yeah that, <laughs> can I have some pitting? No. Yeah. <laughs> He's not snarf. 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 No snarf's lower. Nah. A uh, a young adult Dexter is. Yeah. Was he? He's young. What skeletal now? Yeah, <laughs> he man. <laughs> but you know, it's just so it's kind of weird how again we don't normally halfway through the game know where Whitey's castle is. True. You know, that usually doesn't reveal itself until the very end of the game. And now we get like thirty seconds of just Mega Man screaming with a bunch of like strobe lights. I don't know. See, this is the ah! this is kind of the problem with with doing. And this is the kind of problem with like sometimes things like games or movies or TV shows would would. Oh do my god, with, this does go on for I a know, long time. For with like to bring in a new character to kind of make the established character look weak, and then have the new character save him. Like that's kind of a cheap uh, trope. I mean, I'm yeah. not really a big fan of that. I guess you're right. But the, those characters kind of act as a catalyst, like. The the main character who is who does appear weaker has to get stronger faster than they normally would. I mean, it kind of I mean, it works in something like say at the start of Mega Man X when like you know Zero is clearly way more powerful than you. Yeah. But at that point, Mega Man X was a new character, so it kind of it worked better. Yeah. 
Uh, and now Dio just... I mean, something like this, when you see Duo just take this thing out, it's like, I want to play as Duo. <laughs> he's like, so me, he's like so much He's going to karate power. chop the fuck out of that thing. Karate chop action! <laughs> Holy shit! He did! Mega Man can't do that. You know, if I, you know what I'd do if I was Mega Man? I'd just destroy Duo. <laughs> take his power. You got karate chop action. That's uh, that's not a half bad idea. <laughs> kids, where's, turn, kids where's, turn around. Where's, where's the cue ball? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, and also like it's th there's no real there's no plot reason as to why the Rock Masters are broken up into two halves in this one. Yeah. Um, I mean like they do. It's really like the first four have for some reason they have evil energy. Uh huh. And then I forget if it's stated in the in the game, but the last four are controlling part of the um, force field. The force field. Yeah. But like, I, so in, in that regard, the, I guess to, to, go, to contradict myself, there is kind of a reason. There's no set up reason as to why Wily makes robots, aside from it's a you know it's a Mega Man game. Wily has to have robots. In all the other ones, there's like plot reasons as to why the robots are made. You know. Mm -hmm. This one, I guess, was just like, well, what else am I gonna do? Might as well make some more robots. <laughs> more robots. Always more ro <laughs> robots. So, um, yep, that was. Uh, that was the first a part. Half. That was the part. That was the first half of uh, Mega Man Eight. Thank you for joining us. Please join us next time. Where well, technically, we... it's it's. If you want to look at it from a technical standpoint, there's more Wily levels at the end of the game than there is levels at the front half of the game so we're not at the halfway point yet about a third of the way through the game actually there we so go. we've done six levels yeah and there's eight more to go so about between a third and halfway yeah that's the ticket bye good night everybody